Hello everyone, my name is Adam Rimpels Vox, and in this video I'm going to real quick show you how to find proprietary drivers for your system in Ubuntu 16.04. Now in the majority of situations, you're not going to need any additional drivers. When, uh, Linux is going to be pretty good about installing drivers by default. For example, even though this would have taken like hours to figure out in Windows without just going to Dell's website, I can actually use, even though I can't see my screen so it's hard to do here, I can use the touch screen here. Um, you can't see this, but I'm 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 just using the touch screen to drag around the window on my computer here. And the touch screen worked by default. Wireless worked by default. Wireless is the big thing that may or may not work by default for some laptops. But nowadays, it's gotten a lot better about just working. Um, graphics drivers are the big thing that you will want to search for. So to do to look for proprietary drivers for your system, open up your system settings, go to software and updates. And then head over here to additional drivers. It's going to search for whatever hardware is in your system that may have non-open source drivers. By default, it uses the open source drivers that are just built into Linux. But if there's ones that aren't open source that may work better on a better level for your hardware, it will pop them up here. For example, my Intel CPU in this laptop actually has a proprietary Intel driver for it. And so I've enabled that. It'll work better with my system. And... You can just enable it. The big thing is there's going to be NVIDIA or AMD specific drivers for your graphics cards. Now, there's not a dedicated graphics card in this computer, so I can't entirely show that off. Although I will overlay some footage of me doing that on a Linux Mint machine. But that's pretty much all you need. And then just and choose which one you want to use and hit restart and restart your machine. And at least for graphics, that should get you some better performance in games. But you don't have to go to any crazy thing or download anything too insane. You just go here, additional drivers, and choose which driver you want to use and that's pretty much it now certain wi-fi devices again like i said uh, may have trouble working by default in linux there are some easy workarounds but since mine works fine i can't actually show that off like right now so that's what you do to get additional drivers hope this video was helpful for you if it was smash the like button get subscribed for more awesome tech videos check the link playlist link in the description for more ubuntu tutorials and i'll see you next time